Hi, it's uh, Peter Stanford again, VK4GXC, with uh, another one of the, the toys I've managed to pick up recently. This is a uh, Watkins Donson WJ9040. It's a, a modular system um, which enables reception from uh, low kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, all the way through to about 1.3 gigs. Uh, for this particularly this is a 1400 meg unit. Um, all the modes are catered for. Um, some of the bandwidths are useful, some aren't. And uh, I'm just going to give a bit of a talk through here just to see what, uh, what we can see on this. Um, as we go through left to right, uh, the left-hand module is fundamentally a, a VLF unit, which is the 5 kilohertz through to, uh, I think it's 1600 megs on this one. Sorry, 600 kilohertz on this one. Um, we then look at the uh, an IF demodulator, which gives us a mixed dry IF bandwidths. Um, some of the narrower bandwidths are uh, actually fitted to this. There's something like about 16 different IF bandwidths uh, available on this. And as I say, some are as wide as 4 megahertz, uh, 2 megahertz, 1 megahertz, you know, 500 kilohertz, and then they go down all the way through to uh, a few tens of kilohertz, and the, the narrowest one being about a 5 kilohertz bandwidth. We then uh, go next to it, which is an antenna crossover uh, network stroke uh, HF unit. This is a uh, an upconverting system which allows you to receive through the HF bands um, and tune the receivers if you are going through the HF bands. With a crossover here, we've set it for, for 30 megahertz. So there's a number of antenna inputs on the back, and there's a VLF antenna, there's a HF antenna, and then there's a UHF antenna system for the uh, uh, for the UHF unit, which is actually have a it does have a low and a high band facility as well. So you uh, can uh, tune up to about 500 megahertz on one antenna and about 500 megahertz on the on the other. Um, essentially, the the right hand block here is a, a UHF um, VUHF receiver in its own right, and uh, is uh, incredibly good at doing that particular job. Um, Keyboard entry, the keys are a little bit small, um, they do tend to suffer from a little bounce as well. The, the spinner, uh, the tuning spinner is, is just ridiculously free, free rolling, which uh, is not really much use when you're trying to do some fine detail. Um, and I'm a little bit not happy with the arrangement of, of moving cursors around here to, to tune it. Uh, I think we've gone from the age of, uh, of user-friendly um, how uh, can I put it, ergonomic receivers here to the world of digital where this is a secondary control facility uh, whereas the, the, major, you know, the major control is for the, uh, it's for the computer uh, through the rear. Um, I'll uh, go through the bands and we'll start off with um, the, the VLF low frequency band. There's a, a loop antenna I've got here just on top of the uh, receiver for that particular band and I'll just turn up the audio. It's tuned to a local radio station here and uh, I've got the audio out through a, just a broadcast um, system here so that it uh, has it can demonstrate the, the quality of the audio you can get from these units so this is a local uh, VK4 radio station um, on, uh, on 882 kilohertz and as we drop down into that particular band let's turn it down a little bit as we drop down into that band uh, we can see some of the NBB beacons uh, I think there's a frequency of uh, 369 kilohertz and uh, I'll just see if we can peak that a little bit not particularly strong but it's a let's say it's, it's on AM 8k bandwidth here I'll just try and see if we can tune it around a bit maybe I've got the wrong There's a little indicator on the, uh, the display here, Tune AFC, which allows the, uh, uh, you to tune it exactly to the center of the IF passband. It's, it's used for more on the higher bands than the lower bands. Yeah, it's a bit weak tonight. This is just a, a local uh, NDB, as I say. Um, down at a little bit lower, there's some of the, the GSM, sorry, I correct myself there, GPS extension systems and I'm trying to think what the frequency is right now it's something like there and we'll just change the detection to CW and I'll just hit the bandwidth down a little bit there but you can hear it in the background there it goes and uh, with some of the software out there you can actually uh, pick up some of these stations and it's interesting to go hunting for the uh, uh, I think it's GPSS or something um, Memory, it's wild since I've uh, played around with this. And uh, so the 
as a VLF receiver, it's not particularly uh, particularly that that good off the loop I've got here. Um, the loop is an untuned is an untuned loop, and uh, it works best with uh, another one of my receivers, which I'll, I'll show a bit later on, uh, which is a dedicated VLF receiver. Notwithstanding, I think with an adequate antenna system, it would uh, would actually shine this receiver on this band. So we've just had a look at the low band use. Um, we can now go through to the, the HF use, and I'll, I'll see if we've got anything on, on on 20 meters this evening. So we'll we'll go 14 decimal two uh, on the megahertz and bring that in. We'll go the bandwidth to the narrowest it will do, which is 2.5, and I've got it slightly offset just so that we can hear uh, you know, on the side bands. And I'll uh, just so we can chew through and see if there's anything there. Now there's not much happening, primarily because I've got the multi-couple switched off. This will uh, bring a little bit more to life. Now I have to say... It, uh, it says it's slow slow AGC but it sounds a little bit fast to me um, so there is it, it, it receives on uh, in this particular case it is a proper product detector but it's uh, receiving on CW mode um, which is um, yeah it's it's a little bit fiddly um, the IF bandwidths are all up at 21.4 megs so it's tough to get a, a really good shape factor up there and it's even tougher to find a filter which uh, which is suitable for this too but it, uh, I'm comparing with other receivers, it's fair. It's fair to adequate. Um, and uh, as I say, the, the big disappointment is that the uh, the, the noise floor is, is very. Uh, it, although it says slow AGC, to me it sounds it's it's quite, it's quite fast. So I'm just trying to give some idea of what uh, what's going on in this band. It's, it's nice to be able to key in the frequencies, of course. The the tuner is uh, not very good. It's just it's just too too fiddly to use. station coming in through there, trying to go through Bar Santa Barbara, but there is a stronger US station. Um, yeah, you can back off the RF um, under, um, let me get this right, under AGC control. The manual control. But it's, um, it's really, it's very, very coarse. In an attempt to try and get some of that uh, background now it does seem to be uh, notched here in other words that it's, it's not a continuously proportional after gain it seems to go in steps so it's a little bit disappointing I'll just go back to manual to automatic sorry so there are some good points about this receiver some bad points um, sure if you want to control it from a uh, remotely with a computer I think it's a, a reasonable system um, as a, a particularly good receiver for uh, for user interface, I think it's quite poor, to be honest. Um, but you know, your mileage may differ on this. Anyway, um, I'll just uh, now go through to a um, to the VUHF side of things. We'll just scoot up to the uh, let's try the FM broadcast band, and we'll just see what uh, the quality sounds like up there. So I'll just turn that little bit running down a little bit uh, again. 105.3 is a local radio station. We'll need to check, change it to, of course, FM. And we'll only we'll take the bandwidth out to something reasonable. So again, I don't know what the speaker's like on the uh, camera, but it is coming through uh, very beautiful, yeah, very nice for television. And we'll go further up to um, the air band, and there's a voice weather station here after news. I'm pull that to AM, and AM, and we'll take the bandwidth down to a. 
one way, one niner. Wind, one four zero degrees. So there's uh, one four knots. A little Maximum voice with the knots. Visibility greater than one zero kilometers. And just above this is uh, in an area. Cloud few three thousand feet. There's a squelch facility. They put a carrier off. Yeah, so we'll put that in. Uh, this is uh, one of the Brisbane approach frequencies. Not quite enough squelch there. This is one of the, f the fiddle factors you have to do with this receiver. That might squelch enough. The display here shows the amount of uh, backed off squelch versus the RF signal coming in. And again, it's it's not playing. It's not playing with us tonight. We can't hear too many signals, but it's uh, normally there's quite a bit of traffic this time of night on this round. Delhi 2151, descend 2500, clear to ILS runway 19. 2500, clear for the ILS runway 19. Delhi 2151. Yeah, the antenna system here is a disc cone, and uh, it's just elevated above the roof. And um, on the disc cone, I have a, a low noise amplifier giving about about a one dB noise figure. Uh, across the whole band from uh, 100, 120 megahertz right the way through to um, 3 gigahertz in this particular hour. 124 at 258. So there's no I have used this for the uh, satellite reception at uh, 137. I don't think anything's going over right now, but it's it, it's very good at that. Um, bandwidth of 20 kilohertz just about gives us the. Uh, the right kind of pictures could be a little bit wider, and um, I'll just see if there's anything further up band we can show. There's a three eight one four. There's a further aviation. Correct that. Let's see, there's a bit of key bounce in this, which also is a bit disappointing. Now this is a, a relay they have um, at the UHF band, which is the local airport, and um, I'll just pull back the. Uh, the squelch or something a bit lower, just to see if we're going to hear anything. Again, it's it can be quite quiet at times. This particular on this frequency, and again, I don't think it's going to, it's going to play for us. No. Nope. Um, one of the other bands we can try is the the local UHF. Um, a quick scoot through the police bands there. So we'll just come to 469 megahertz. We'll change it over to FM. Sorry, it hasn't gone through right there. 69 megahertz. And we'll put it onto, uh, say, the key bounce on this is terrible. Not going to play for us. There it goes, and we'll go with the uh, a little bit wide, but it might just give us a bit of a bit more chance of capturing some uh, some signals. So we'll just have a bit of a tune and see if you can hear anything. A lot of it's digital now. But occasionally, you'll just hear a bit of um, bit of audio. Automatically locks it there, and I know that it likes a narrow bandwidth. Uh, so it's a quick look at the uh, the Watkins Johnson 9040 uh, receiver. 